بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتور حمزه سيوف بيدياتر كونسل بيدياتك نيرولوجي كونسلتنت اور تشايلد نيرولوجي كونسلتنت يو نو تودي وي غانا توك اباوت فيبرال سيجر فيبرال سيجر بابلي ذا موست اور ذا كومينست epilepsy or seizure syndrome uh, in in children it is definitely not an epilepsy uh, it usually starts between six months to six year and uh, the seizure are always associated and triggered by fever with uh, within 24 hours of the seizure yeah and the fever can happen like within 24 hours before or after the seizure and uh, it is usually uh, it happened in a patient who is not does not have epilepsy does not have an underlying uh, uh, central nervous uh, uh, central nervous system infection or meningitis and uh, it is uh, ha it happens in this age classically five months to six year or you can push it down to one month to six year with more thorough evaluation when you get down to the uh, one to five months of age and uh, this usually happens only with fever and it can be uh, generalized it can be partial it can be staring it can be any kind uh, of uh, seizure uh, classically uh, uh, the the fever uh, will come uh, after the seizure happen uh, and it usually the most important is the peak of the fever that that uh, you know trigger the seizure uh, yani a lot of the times the family said you know we will try our best to control the fever uh, in order to avoid the seizure we tell them you know sometimes it is not the fever itself it's the peak of the uh, how quickly the the fever peaks that's the most important triggering factor of course you know, this seizure needs to be treated. Uh, we need to control the seizure if it, uh, if it is more than five minutes, so directal dazepam. Uh, we need, the most importantly, especially in younger age, to find what's the cause of the fever and to treat that uh, thoroughly. We need to educate the family now that the patient who has epilepsy and has seizure with a fever, it is not a, f a febrile seizure, it is epilepsy triggered by fever because fever is a classical a trigger for, uh, for epilepsy. And there is, a rare kind uh, of syndrome uh, they call GIF plus or uh, SCN1A mutation associated uh, 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 syndrome like a Dravet syndrome that it classically the fever is always a trigger of the uh, of uh, of the seizure. Now, uh, if the seizure are very frequent. Of the seizure are uh, are happening in a kid who has a very strong family history of epilepsy. Uh, of the seizure uh, tend to come on in a recurrent uh, status of lepticus lasting more than five, uh, like 30 minutes. Uh, we need to uh, do an EEG. Uh, we might need an MRI to dig further, but the simple febrile seizure that comes, you know, you know, two, three, four times a year, it's a shorter duration, less than 15 minutes, and only happen one, one time uh, uh, during the 24 hours, and it is generalized, not focal, where the patient, for example, have seizure in one part of his body. Uh, uh, we don't need to do an EEG, and we don't need to, uh, you know, dig further in the history. Remember, the most important uh, uh, in kids less, less than six months or less than one year is to know exactly what is the source of the fever because if the patient has meningitis or in, in brain infection, this can present with uh, fever and uh, seizure. Uh, no need for maintenance dose of medication except in rare cases. We give them, you know, uh, medication around the time when they are sick. Uh, but in general, uh, all kids they will outgrow it by six years of age, and they tend to have a benign course in the uh, majority, uh, especially in normally in normally developed kids and uh, 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 with uh, you know uh, uh, no underlying uh, or uh, trigger out no underlying you know. Uh, factor that uh, could trigger this syndrome uh, that look might look like a febrile seizure, like you know Dravet syndrome or SCNA1 mutation. Uh, uh, thank you guys and have a good day and uh, please wait for us for the next episodes of uh, epilepsy in children. Thank you.